Elliot is right off to the side here. Hello everyone, my name is Chelsea and welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we have a triple unboxing. So we have three different book boxes here. Luma Crate, Afterlight, and Rainbow Crate to unbox today. Um, I've actually been saving these boxes because I have been slacking a little bit on trying to actually do unboxings on this channel, mostly just because I have other plans and things that I want to do, and so individual unboxing videos fall by the wayside. Um, so both of these two came in at the very be end of November, beginning of December, and this one just came in yesterday I believe it was um, this is the one we were waiting for because all of these boxes are November boxes so we are going to be opening them and looking at them and seeing what we have here I think we're gonna start with a Luma crate because that is the one that actually came in first and sort of work our way from the oldest one that we have here to the newest I am pretty sure I know what is in each of these boxes book wise everything else not so much. So let's start with a Luma crate. Elliot, like I said, is over here as well, getting into things. And so our theme is anti-hero. Okay, so the first thing that I see in here does look to be probably a mug. It is sci-fi themed, obviously. I'm very excited for this. It says intermission. Is this the murder bot one? I feel like there was supposed to be a murder bot item in this box, which I absolutely love. So let's see, what do we have? It does look like it's going to be, so it says the rise and fall of Sanctuary Moon. We have Murderbot with all these screens. I'm really loving the, like, aesthetic and, like, colors and shapes of this one here. Ah, uh, yes. I really do enjoy that one. Careful. So silly, girl. Okay, the next thing we have in here says it's going to be a hanging <laughs> ornament. Um, I do have the, like, spoiler card over here somewhere. I do not know all the artists and stuff off the top of my head necessarily. I will leave everything linked down below for you, though, so you can check them out. This says it's going to be inspired by Nettle and Bone by T. Kingfisher, though. Okay. I do like the aesthetics of this one. Like, it's very sort of, like... I want to say simple, but at the same time, it has a lot of stuff going on. Like, I like the illustration style of this. So we have a little ornament, which obviously is perfect for this season. Although, th this is nothing like anything I have on my tree right now. Okay, next is something in here. I can't quite tell if this is like a fabric. It looks like a fabric item of some kind. I just don't know exactly what. Okay, a night market foldable bag based on the Stardust Thief. Okay, so it is something that should be able to unfold, and I just don't know if I'm smart enough to do it. Am I just, I just am not smart enough to do this? Okay, there we go. It must fold up very nicely. I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to get it back in that little pouch, but this is sort of what it looks like here. I do like it, it has a repeating design. Here's what the handles look like. Okay, the handles are actually pretty nice. I do like that as well. And then obviously the little pouch that it was in can go back in the bag. It turns into a pretty big bag. That's nice. A reusable bag. Ooh, we have bookends. Okay, I think... Is this like Gideon the Ninth? Something like that? They are Gideon the Ninth. I DNF'd Gideon the Ninth, but I love bookends, which I cannot open today. I'm having some issues with actually getting things open. I think part of my problem with getting things open right now is I broke my thumbnail finger on my right hand yesterday, like quite far down, like it's still sore, and I end up using that thumbnail to open a lot of things, and I don't have it there anymore. Okay, finally got it. So, these are the bookends. They look really cool. Like, I will probably still use these because they're nice metal bookends. And it says one flesh, one end. Like, I do like the, like, style of these. I did not personally like the book. It was a writing style thing for me, not much of anything else. Like, I'm just very particular with that kind of stuff. But I will definitely use some bookends. And I think that means 
we are officially down to the book in here. Ooh, okay. So our book is Starling House by Alex E. Harrow. I was not expecting this like transparent dust jacket. Dust jacket, like it's it's one of those like um, vellum ones. Is that what it's called? Where it's like, it's literally see-through on here. That is really cool. I was not expecting that. So this is like the dust jacket. And again, you can you can see through it. That's really cool. And so then this is the naked hardcover. I like that it wraps around. Ooh, is that different on the side? Yeah, we have like the front of the house and then the back of the house. And the back of the house has a cemetery. That's really cool. I do like how they did the edges, like the traditional hardcover um, printing one. And then actually one other thing, I don't know if you can tell, but on these ones, they actually have like the little holographic speckles on there like I guess sort of like as stars but it does go all the way down so I'm curious about that and then we do have end papers I love a good end paper it's the same thing on both sides and then the book is not signed I sometimes even forget to double check if it's signed or not we do have like an author letter in the book with a digital signature there um I do like books that are signed, but it's not like a make or break for me. Like I like it, but it doesn't have to be. So that's sometimes when I actually remember to do unboxings or even the book hauls sometimes where I have special editions, I sometimes completely forget to like check or show you guys if there is a signature. No actual signature, but I really do like this edition of the book. I always love a book that has a really, really pretty under the dust jacket thing because of the fact that I don't read hardcovers with the dust jacket on. So yeah, Elliot's making a mess. You wanna do that one next? Yes, okay. So that was a Luma Crate. Let's move on to Afterlight. This is gonna be the last Afterlight until they go monthly in 2024. Um, so this one still should have a couple items in here, but once they start doing the every month in 2024, it'll just be the book. And so here is our paper for Afterlight. Um, it does not have like a theme to it, um, but we do have a couple items. So the first one is going to be like a little book jacket that you can put on. Leave it alone. I know she's very excited. Um, it says, you have bewitched me, body and soul. I feel like I should know that quote. I don't personally actually know, but like, I like the colors of this. It looks very pretty. Pride and Prejudice, that makes sense. Uh, it makes sense that I should have known what the quote was. It also makes sense that I, I think also tried to do Pride and Prejudice forever ago and did not like it. So yeah, book, jacket, cover thing. Here, you wanna hold this one? The thing before the book, down at the very bottom, because the book was actually on top of it, is this, the Modern Romance Bookcase 1000 piece jigsaw puzzle. I don't even think you can tell. It's huge, but like this style, this aesthetic is gorgeous. I'm so excited. Oh, this is like what the whole thing is gonna look like. That is gorgeous. This is a perfect item for like the last one before we go monthly and don't have special things anymore. The pieces are actually quite small as well. So this is gonna be one of those things that takes a while, but like I could definitely see me doing this or attempting to do this. With kids like this, it's hard, but like I'm very excited for that. That's a very good item. Um, and then we did have like a little print here with the author letter on the back for the book and I'm very excited to see exactly what this book looks like because I will say I was not a big fan of the original cover. Come back, I don't want you touching the camera because you're the one that almost killed this camera. I was not a big fan of the original cover but I really wanted to read this book. I like it. I really love the color scheme and I like the art style on this. I like how it looks like a neon sign. We do have a little bit different on the back as well. So this is Second Chances in Newport Stephen. It is going to be a second chance romance, um, a queer romance. I think it's technically male-male. Uh, one of our characters is trans. Like this is like their high school sweetheart sort of thing that I think they just ended up growing apart. And now that they're trans and coming back to town, they're gonna potentially, well, potentially, it's a romance. We know they're going to rekindle the romance. And I, 
I'm very excited for this. Uh, it is by TJ Alexander. I believe this is also technically a Christmas book. So like if I wanted to try and fit the, in this month, I think I should. It is going to be signed here. Um, let's see. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I need to, I don't know how this fits in exactly, but we have manatees. We have manatees on the cover. It is adorable. I think this is set in Florida, so I guess that makes sense. Manatees are definitely a thing there. <sighs> yeah, set against the backdrop of one weird Floridian Christmas. I think this might be something I need to try and fit in this month. I'm actually in the middle of reading Christmas romances. Well, not all of them are romances, but like Christmas books. I might have to fit this in. Oh, I also did not show the edges. They're neon stuff trees and flamingos and stuff there's no cool end papers but that's okay because i really really <laughs> like this edition <laughs> you're crazy okay one more box one more box one more box you ready elliot one more box and so our last box is rainbow crate like i said before this is the one from november i skipped december because it didn't seem like things that i wanted so this is also going to be at least my last box before they go into their new thing for 2024, which they always do two books a month. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys just a little bit, see me a little bit better. Two books a month, one traditionally published, one indie published, um, and they have been doing items in the box, a magnet and something else. They're no longer gonna do the items, they're still gonna do the two um, like cool editions, cool dust jackets a month. So let's go in here first. Let's start with the magnet, which is this here. I do like the chibi nature of the magnet and stuff. I just don't ever know who the characters are. Let me see. The magnet. She's getting all the stuff out. Okay, I think this is supposed to be contract bound by El May. Never heard of that one, so I'm sorry about that. We do also have like a pencil case. That's what it makes me think of right here. And it says, you don't find a life, you have to make one. This is for The Unbroken by C.L. Clark. And it looks like Elliot has already broken the case. That's fine. It has like two layers. Mine is broken. I'm pretty sure my daughter did that. So let's just, it's fine. It's fine. But it has like two layers to it. These metal cases are never the best, in my opinion, with my kids. They definitely find a way to break them. All those, like, books that are supposed to look really cool, like this, where they, like, they look like a book, but they're not. They're, like, a thing. They've broken them. There is a way to fix this, I can tell, because the metal part here, it just, like, went too far. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out later, but we do have that. And then we have two books in here, like I said before. So one is going to be indie, one is going to be traditionally published. Let's start with the traditionally published first because I'm very, very excited for it. I actually did have an arc of this one and have not read it yet because they only approved me for the arc like a couple weeks, like one or two weeks I think before the book actually came out and I already knew I was ordering it and I just had too many other things to read. Elliot is throwing things out. We do have a signed book plate, pretty sure that's the right way up and so here is their exclusive edition dust jacket for Gwen and art are not in love by Lex Croucher I'm very excited for this one this is one that has been on my anticipated releases list like I'm so excited Elliot you need to come get down thank you this is gonna be like an Arthurian retail retelling sort of thing um and it's gonna be like both king arthur and guinevere do not like each other even though they're i guess they're supposed to be wed to each other sort of thing um arthur is falling in love with i think gwen's brother and gwen is falling in love with a lady knight something like that i'm very excited um they do have the normal dust jacket under here which is also gorgeous uh and then one thing i do love about Rainbow Crate, and I've talked about it before, is they have nutrition facts here that give you like a very small snippet of the book. So here we go. 416 pages. Representation, we have Sapphic, Achillean, Thai, and biracial Iranian slash white. Um, genre is historical rom-com. Plot, we have frenemies to reluctant friends. The lady gets the night and shenanigans. 
And then demographics, it is 100% young adult with a third person dual point of view. So that's our traditionally published book. But now we also have our indie book and they go all out for their indie books. Like they actually do the whole thing, not just the dust jacket. They do the dust jacket. They do the hard case. They do everything. It does have a signed book plate and it's going to be very, very pretty. It's Prince of Air and Darkness by M.A. Grant. I have found that I a lot of the times don't know the indie books before they announce what they're gonna be doing in their box. And then I go find the author and I'm like, you know what, that actually sounds amazing. I really, really love what they've done with this cover here. Like the art style is gorgeous. I love how it does wrap around the back and it's the same one, the same art as this here. Here is our edges. So, so pretty. Ooh, okay. Underneath the dust jacket, we have a holographic, like, what is this, like a wall kiss? The lean, the lean. Um, and then we have like a quote on the back with a holographic bird. I do love that. And then our end papers also have like quotes and stuff. Like, it's very, very pretty. Oh, okay, and then our end paper on this side doesn't have a quote, so it has a little bit extra stuff on there. I am very excited for it. This, I don't know much about, so we're gonna use our nutrition facts for it to tell us. So this one says it has 397 pages. Representation is Achillean, gay, and bisexual. Genre is fantasy romance. Plot is poorly chosen, chosen one. Enemies to lovers, mutual pining, and fey magic. This one is gonna be 100% adult. And then the point of view is first person. Yeah, I definitely need to read this one. I'm loving the cover on here. I love that they do their own editions of these. And again, and I've said this before, I personally love the nutrition facts because sometimes that's all I need to know about a book. So because Elliot is now getting very restless, we are going to end here. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up to let me know. Subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more videos. I do have videos coming out on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so I will see you then. Bye! Elliot, can you say bye-bye? Bye. Good job.